In other news now, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi has landed in Srinagar. He is on a two-day visit to the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir, where he is scheduled to inaugurate a range of development projects. Uh, one of the highlights of the visit uh, to the region will be leading the main international day of yoga celebrations at the Sher A Kashmir International Conference Center in Srinagar on Friday. Since 2015, Prime Minister Modi has led the International Day of Yoga celebrations at various iconic locations, including the Kartavya Path in New Delhi, Chandigarh, Dehradun, Rachi, Lucknow, Mysuru, and even the United Nations headquarters in New York. Now, according to the JNK police, uh, the multi-tier multi -tier security arrangements have been made for the visit. Earlier, the Srinagar police issued orders declaring a city of temporary red zone for the operation of drones and uh, corruptors uh, for the Prime Minister's visit. The police has said that all unauthorized drone operations in the red zone are liable to be penalized as per relevant provisions of the Drone Rule 2021. In Srinagar, Prime Minister Modi will take part in the Empowering Youth Transforming JNK event at the Sher e Kashmir International Conference Center. He will also lay the foundation stone and inaugurate 84 major development projects valued at more than 1,500 crore rupees. The projects relate to road infrastructure, water supply schemes and infrastructure in higher education as well. And for more on this, our special correspondent Idris Sloan is joining us live from Srinagar for the very latest on the Prime Minister's visit. And Idris, tell us a little bit more about the Prime Minister's visit and of course coming uh, with a blanket of security given the backdrop of terror attacks in the valley. Well, absolutely. Security has been on high alert from the last two weeks across the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir after the attacks that took place in Jammu region. Uh, after that, we have seen that security was beefed up all across the Kashmir Valley, especially on the borders as well. Uh, and with the uh, visit of the Prime Minister today and tomorrow, the security has been beefed up across Srinagar as well. We've seen uh, many barricades that have been put in place for the security of the Prime Minister, as well as some of the roads have also been closed. On the other hand, the Prime Minister, uh, it's his first visit after the third, after he took over the third term as the Prime Minister of India, and he's going to gift around 1,500 uh, crore uh, worth developmental projects to the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. He's going to inaugurate them today evening and tomorrow morning. He's also going to uh, attend the yoga day celebrations in Srinagar's Sher e Kashmir International Convention Center. So a big day. Uh, ahead for Jammu and Kashmir as it's the first time the Prime Minister of India would be celebrating Yoga Day in Kashmir. Uh, overall, people extremely excited and happy that the developmental uh, projects that he'll be inaugurating would be for the benefit of Jammu and Kashmir, especially if we talk about the national highways uh, as well as the tunnels that uh, will be opened for the public. People also waiting uh, for the day that uh, Kashmir would be connected with the rest of the country via rail. Uh, which is a, a portion of it is still incomplete and the government has said that they're working on fast pace uh, to uh, connect the Kashmir rail to the rest of the country as well. Right, Idris, thanks very much indeed for joining us with the very latest there. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.